video is on identification of staphylococcus. There are three main types of uh, staph that are out there. One is staphylococcus epidermidis, another staphylococcus saprophyticus, and lastly staphylococcus aureus. So the purpose of this lab is to be able to identify uh, the three species of staphylococcus. One test that you can do is called a latex bead agglutination test. In that particular test, what you're uh, going to detect is coagulase production, and staph aureus produces that. And also, you'll be able to detect what's called protein A, which is an antigen that's on the outside of staph aureus. So the beads that are used are latex beads, and they're coated with fibrinogen and an antibody called IgG. So the fibrinogen will react with coagulase, the IgG will actually react with the antigen or protein A, and what you get in the end is actually agglutination or clumping of the latex beads and the bacteria. So basically, you add a drop of the beads to a card, add your bacteria to it, and what you expect to see if it's positive is uh, clumping, and it will just be kind of runny if it's negative. And the types of cards that we actually use, guys, look more like this, where if you're negative, you can see that it's just kind of uniform all the way around here. Whereas if you take a look on the right side here, you've actually got clumping little beads. The next test is called the mannitol salt auger uh, test. And it selects for all, uh, salt tolerance. So staph species are, are salt tolerant. They can grow in higher amounts of salt than other types of bacteria. So uh, the plate actually is going to contain not only the salt, but mannitol, which is a carbohydrate. And it will also contain phenol red, which is a pH indicator. So the phenol red it actually turns yellow if an acid is produced. So What's going to happen, if the bacteria ferments the mannitol, an acid gets produced, then this is actually going to turn then the media yellow. So here's a good example, guys, of what you would see then with the MSA plate. On this plate here, you can see this bacteria, which happens to be Staph aureus, can grow very well and also produce uh, an acid because of fermentation, whereas Staph epidermidis on the left-hand side here grows very well, but it doesn't ferment the uh, mannitol. For the sheep's blood auger, this is another one. We can look for what is known as hemolysis, guys, and you may have heard of that before. That means that you're breaking down blood. So the three types that you would have, actually two types, but uh, we try to keep the Greek thing together with gamma down here, would be beta hemolysis, that's complete hemolysis, and you'll see clearing around the colony. Alpha hemolysis, it's incomplete, and you'll see a greenish discoloration. And finally, what we call ga uh, gamma hemolysis, that's no hemolysis at all. And here's a good example of that. If you take a look, you can see kind of this greenish color that's in the media, whereas on the right-hand side, you see that real nice clear area around the colony. The next test that uh, you could do is called a gelatin or gelatinase test. And the idea here, guys, is that gelatin can be broken down into amino acids. Therefore, what happens is it goes from solid to liquid. So gelatin itself will melt at 28 degrees, guys. So we incubate it at 25. If you put it at 37, it's going to melt. Put it at 25 degrees after you inoculate it. And then what you do is you look to see if the gelatin, which is solid, goes to liquid. And that tells you then that gelatinase is produced. So liquid is positive, And if it stays solid, that's negative. So here's an example of that. The one in the middle here, guys, is staph aureus. You can see that's liquid, whereas the other two stay solid. The last test uh, would be a, a coagulase test. And coagulase, guys, is an enzyme that will clot blood. So you would inoculate on your bacteria and 
into plasma tubes, which start out liquid, incubated 37 degrees for 24 hours, and then see if coagulation or clumping actually takes place. So Steph Aureus will actually turn the plasma solid, however the other two will stay liquid. And again, if you take a look here, guys, I know this is sideways, but for the negative, this is all the liquid right there, and for the positive, 